video series. Last week we talked about what can be recycled and this week our big question is how does it get recycled? As you know from our last video, recycling looks different from community to community because markets and facilities are different from place to place. So I live in Boulder, Colorado and my recycling center here may work differently from your recycling center if you live in a different place. We also may have different markets or buyers for the materials than your local recycling center. Because of all those variables, there is no one way that materials get recycled, but there are some common processes to recycling that we see at most recycling facilities that process single stream recycling. In a single stream recycling program, all recyclables, paper, plastic, glass, steel, cartons, aluminum, are placed in the same bin, all mixed together and sent to a materials recovery facility. At the recycling facility, materials are sorted by type and then compressed to make bales of separated office paper corrugated cardboard, aluminum, number one plastic, number two plastic, steel, etc. These bales are then shipped to markets. To sort out all these materials, we need machinery and we need hands. At most recycling facilities, the sorting system consists of a combination of automated equipment and people. That's right, real people are sorting your recyclables. So think twice about throwing your diaper in there. It's gonna run right under the nose of a person who will have to grab it and put it where it belongs trash. Some examples of automated machinery found in recycling facilities include conveyor belts, screens, magnets, robots, and lasers. The hand sorters are all standing at different points along a conveyor belt at different stations in the recycling center. They wear reinforced gloves and other personal protection equipment, and they have to be very quick to identify and grab items off the conveyor belt. These people are either sorting for materials to throw in a bale or to get rid of contaminants, taking it off the line, and sometimes both at once. Sorting is not an easy job. No matter the recycling facility, they all share the same top contaminants that they absolutely do not want in the recycling stream. Some contaminants damage the equipment. Some of them endanger our human sorters, and all of them are materials that markets have no interest in buying. Some examples of contaminants for all recyclers are plastic bags, which wind around our equipment, jamming it. Biohazards and medical sharps, like animal or human waste and needles, pose a tremendous risk and should never be recycled. Nor should explosive or combustible products of any kind. Food and liquid have the potential to make our human sorters sick from mold and attract stinging insects and rats. So make sure you empty and rinse recyclable food containers. Scrap metal tears up our conveyor belts. We'll talk more about these and other kinds of contaminants that are mistakenly put in the recycling bins next week. The next general concept common to most recycling facilities has to do with shapes and whether an item is a flat two-dimensional object like paper or a round, meaning a three-dimensional object such as a plastic container. This is one of the principal concepts of most recycling facilities if they handle single stream recyclables. Remember, single stream means that you put all your recyclables in one bin, and at the recycling facility, they have to sort out each material into their own bales. In other cases, residents sort out their own materials at home, so the recycling facilities don't have to separate flats from rounds. So in a single stream system, automated equipment is designed to identify flat items, paper, and separate those from 3D items, containers. So we need to keep papers we want to recycle flat, and we need to keep containers we want to recycle fat or three-dimensional. Otherwise, things like a flattened aluminum can may get sorted with papers because the automated sorting equipment will mistakenly identify that flat can as paper. But if we put a regular three-dimensional aluminum can in recycling, it would make its way over to the container side of the facility like it's supposed to. Let's talk about how some of the most common materials might go through a recycling center. Metal, like a steel can, will be snatched up by a magnet pulling it off the line and separating it from the other materials. Aluminum, which isn't magnetic, can be sorted using an eddy current, which creates a current and sends it through the can so it has a momentary charge and can be drawn out from the remaining commingled materials. Things like cartons are usually taken out by hand or by a robot. And once papers are automatically separated from the containers, they're usually sorted into different grades by hand as well, though some facilities have optical sorters to do this task. Want to see all of this action at work? See this week's activities for an inside look at the operations inside one recycling facility, the Boulder County Recycling Center, operated by EcoCycle. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.